Uh, Studio Yamin is very sensitive towards material, people, time and place, which has always guided us to quest and create timeless designs. Hi, I'm architect Mithul Shah. I'm one of the principal architects at Studio Yamini Architects. I'm architect Mehul Shah, one of the principal architects at Studio Yamini Architects. Hi, I'm Kajo Shah. I'm an interior designer. I'm one of the principal designers of Studio Yamini Architects. We are very happy to share our USP with the readers of IndiaArtAndDesign.com. Our approach has always been project-oriented framework. So we really emphasize uh, to hear our clients out first, to understand their taste, their preferences, to gauge what kind of uh, house, because you know, that they're looking for because house is such an intimate space for everyone. So here also, I would say, you know, we had followed the similar process because uh, we had to deal with uh, the couple, you know, who were, uh, who had different tastes and preferences because one, the husband being in the real estate. So obviously he was looking at a lot of practical aspects and uh, you know, the after construction usabilities and things like that. Whereas the lady of the house being from, you know, a design fraternity, she was more design oriented. She wanted different things from her house. So, but you know, uh, that really didn't change much. We still followed uh, what we had to as a process and we moved forward. The challenge was to craft out spaces uh, which were blanketed with natural light and treated with good ventilation. This was a very important brief that were uh, given to us by the, uh, the husband of the house. And uh, moreover, this residence is also in a gated community. So another concern was to give them a sense of privacy to each and every space. So I would say that, you know, the uh, proposed layout itself became a challenge uh, for us in this residence. In, you know, so, so, you know, I mean, how do we overcome this? I would say that, you know, uh, what we had proposed was two diagonal courtyards in the house which were lined with greens uh, that acting as an enclosure. These coats not only acted as light wells or ventilation shafts, but also they gave a sense of privacy to uh, in each and every area, making it more cozier and also a belt of green to overlook upon. You know, we had the liberty because, you know, it was a blank slate, so we could slightly tweak the civil part of the house and we introduced these two courtyards which were diagonal to each other. If uh, I have to see a broader or a larger picture, I think the project splendidly commemorates the art in its diverse manifestations, extending a generous support to a lot of artists hailing from different parts of the country. You know, now Badodra, which is renowned as a cultural hub, proudly fosters a myriad of art forms, celebrating the talents and the contributions of artists within its vibrant embrace. So if you see the uh, house, you know, I mean, uh, and that is also one of our USB. We also involve ourselves in curating a lot of art, as I also mentioned in the art design philosophy that, you know, we always have these inhabitable works of art uh, for the householders. So I would say uh, not very literally uh, to the community or to the gate, I mean, to the gated community, but overall at the urban level, we, I think we've done our part with the residents. I think each and every project, irrespective of its scale, it comes with its own set of challenges. So uh, the key is always to trust your instincts and stick to it so that you know you can achieve what you had initially conceptualized or what you have envisioned. Uh, to put it simply, uh, I would put it out as patience is the key to everything. <laughs>